Welcome everybody. In this video I will give you a short introduction to the RFM add-on module RF Timber AWC. This add-on module is used for timber design according to the American standard. I have already entered the structure, loading, and combinations for this example. In the first module window of RF Timber AWC, we select the members and sets of members that we want to design. The design will be carried out according to the allowable strength design method. Then we select the relevant combinations for the design of the ultimate limit state, the serviceability limit state, and for fire resistance. Here you can set the units to metric or imperial units. In Module Window 1.2, it is possible to adjust the timber materials which were defined in RFM. In this Module Window, you can see the cross-sections which are to be designed. In the library, all standardized cross-sections are stored. If such a cross-section is selected, the factors according to the standard are automatically imported. In the next window, the load durations for the individual load cases are defined. In module windows 1.5 and 1.6, the climatic conditions are defined for the members and sets of members. In module windows 1.7 and 1.8, the effective lengths are defined. In our example, the buckling lengths of the members are equal to the member length. The length for buckling about the y-axis of the member sets is the distance between the joists. We can use the keyboard shortcut F8 to enter a value from one row into the next. Lateral torsional buckling is prevented by the roof covering. In this window, you can define further design parameters, such as shear reductions. The serviceability limit state design will be performed for the girders as an example. The same applies for the fire resistance design. You can choose whether the members are exposed to fire on four sides or only on particular sides. Now we can run the calculation. After the calculation, the results are shown in clearly structured tables in the results windows. The locations of the maximum design ratios can be displayed graphically in RFM. There are many options for the graphical representation of results. Now we can print this view of the results to the printout report. You can modify the printout report in many ways. For example, you can define the printout report header here. 
In this dialog box, the amount of data which is included in the printout report can be defined. The printout report can be printed directly, but it is also possible to export it as an RTF or PDF file. Thank you for watching. You can find more information about Zubal software at www.zubal.com.